In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how you can hit your driver straighter. So how are you gonna hit more fairways? But before I get into two ways that you can adjust your driver swing in order to hit more fairways, uh, please subscribe to our channel. That way you'll be the first to know about it whenever we create new videos. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna give you two different ways to um, hit more fairways. One is gonna come from understanding what the consistent tour golfers do, and then two is going to come from understanding how you could take your current swing and apply something out on the uh, course tomorrow. One of the questions I always get asked is what's the difference between the driver and the iron swing? And I actually did a, a presentation at the World Golf Fitness Summit a few years ago where we looked at the 3D differences. There are different, definitely differences between the ideal driver swing and the ideal iron swing. In general, the guys who are really consistent with the driver tend to use more of their lower body to create the speed compared to their arms and shoulders, and they tend to square the club face up earlier. Um, and what that looks like is from the down the line camera, you'll see the club face pointing more at the ball earlier, so then when they come through, they don't have to rely on lining up the face. What you tend to see with good iron players is they'll swing more with their upper body. In doing so, they might get a little bit steeper and you'll tend to see the club face stay open longer and shut a little bit faster uh, down at the bottom. You don't have to, you can use this early club face closing with every club, but that's just one of the trends that you'll see on the 3D data of tour pros is that good drivers of the golf ball tend to close the face earlier, so then it has more of a gradual change down at the bottom instead of a fast change. So in the next section where we look at it with the GoPro, we're gonna take a look at a checkpoint when the hands are basically even with the right thigh, roughly what angle is that club face. If you find that when you get down here, the club face is pointing more at this face on camera or compared to this down the line, the club face is pointing way over there, you'll see that the club face is almost 70, 80 degrees compared to the target. And I'm going to have to try to square that up very late while the club is moving fastest. Instead, if I do a little bit of what we call the motorcycle movement, if I get a little bit of earlier face closing, now when I come down, I didn't have to rotate it that much. And now the club face is pointing closer We'll get that even better there. The club face is close, pointing closer to uh, the target. So then all I have to do is continue turning through and just let that club face continue uh, closing at a more gradual rate. So if I close it early, I can do it gradual. That's gonna give me a little bit more consistency than if I wait longer and I have to close it fast when the club face is moving really quickly. So I've got lots of different drills to help you feel what it's like to close the club face, whether you do it more with the left hand or the right hand. Um, if you're pulling down, that tends to open the face. We've got lots of ways to kind of work through it. Uh, but in this video, I'll just give you one simple checkpoint when we look at the GoPro section. Okay, so if you're setting up this little station for hitting your driver straighter, we're gonna one line, which is roughly gonna be where we're gonna put the golf ball. And now, just to give some type of standardization to this so that I know that we're on the same page, I've got my eight iron here. I'm going to take it and put it about a foot behind the, the ball or behind this first line. And then I'm going to draw a line kind of along the top line right here, not the leading edge, but the top line. So now I've got a line kind of at an angle, roughly kind of like this. That's gonna be our reference as far as getting the club face closed. So now, if I get set up and put a ball on that first line, I'm just going to look at when my hands are even with the golf ball, or sorry, even with my thigh, kind of like this, where is the club face compared to this line? Um, so as I come down, you'll see if I was to keep that club face open, you would see it pointing way right of this line. But if I do the motorcycle move with kind of a neutral grip, you'll start to see that that's coming in in a more like parallel to this line or, or square to that line position. Now I'm going to do a few kind of pump style drills where I'm just going to bring the club and just check. Bring the club. That was a little open. Pretty good there, that one's pretty good there. Once I've got that feeling, now I'm just gonna do a nice, easy, maybe 60, 70% swing. 
just to see if I can get the club face to come in pretty square. That one had a nice, uh, nice ball flight. I was able to get it pretty square. So then I can just work on taking that feeling, adding more and more speed, adding more and more pivot and lower body, but still focusing on getting club face um, to get matched up to that line quicker. If it's still wide open or pointing right you are going to have to stall and flip and that stall and flip is going to add a big timing element to your driver swing so now we'll do one more at closer to full speed pretty good ball flight there now for some golfers doing that feels really uncomfortable um, they're not used to thinking about their hands they don't even feel the club face and so trying to become aware of it really creates almost a sense of panic so then the other option is, well, all right, I can't feel my hands. I'm not really comfortable trying to close the face. What should I do then? Well, then we're gonna rely on some more kind of old school teaching and we're gonna talk about swinging more in rhythm or swinging a little bit smoother. Now you might be thinking, okay, why, what does that have to do with club face control? Well, what can happen is if I'm, if I'm relying on the, the arms and the hands to square the club face very late, I hate the phrase, but it becomes a little bit more timing dependent. And so there are two things that really disrupt timing um, for these late closing of the club face, especially with the driver. And the two things are either getting nervous or swinging hard. So if you recognize, like let's say you take a look at yourself on video and you look and you see that the club face is still wide open um, when your hands are even with your right thigh. If your hands are, or the club face is really open at this point, then I would encourage you to work on your rhythm and make sure that you don't swing too hard. When you swing hard, that's often going to disrupt this timing and you can either have big right or big left misses. Um, the other one that's a little bit harder to control is getting nervous. So you might want to work on um, relaxation, deep breathing, your ability to stay in rhythm um, even when it's, it's really important. Uh, because oftentimes, golfers who tend to have this late closing pattern will have really good range sessions where they can hit you know six seven eight out of ten into a fairway sized target but then when they get on the course it tends to break down so if you found this video helpful you think you're going to hit more fairways then head over to golf smart academy and sign up for a free membership yes i mean free you don't even have to give us your credit card there you'll have access to over 900 videos, including a section dedicated just to the driver. There you'll learn how to diagnose and train your specific driver issues. Golf Smart Academy is the ultimate guide for do-it-yourself golfers just like yourself.